Hey guys, it's Tyler. Today we're going to talk about Xbox buying Activision Blizzard and what that means. So today, this morning, it seems I was scrolling through Instagram and Xbox just puts out a post that says, uh, welcome to the Xbox family. They put out a post that says, uh, excited to announce the world-renowned franchises and talented people at Activision Blizzard. We'll, we'll be joining Team Xbox. Check our Instagram story for full details. Excited to announce that the world-renowned franchises and talented people at Activision Blizzard will be joining Team Xbox. Check our Instagram story for full details. So I check it. I'm like, what the heck is this? I just woke up. And if you click the link on their story, it brings up Xbox Wire, and this is crazy. It's the whole announcement. They are acquiring Activision Blizzard. It is just totally uh, out of left field because I've just been seeing lots of reports from Phil Spencer, or really the news outlet kind of looking and twisting his narrative, being like, uh, yeah, we have certain ways in which we deal with them. To me, it seemed very like they are going to put like a line in the sand with them. But with this, it looks like they're actually helping them out and saving them. Because they have been in like a, a heap of trouble lately. Bobby Kotick, their CEO, is terrible, terrible man. Uh, sexual abuse allegations, the list goes on. This has been going on for years. Nothing has changed, so maybe this could be the thing that uh, that changes it. I don't know. Uh, hopefully that's the case. Um, if you go to the bottom of their page, which shows uh, Phil Spencer and like the people, uh, you don't see Bobby Kotick. Bobby Kotick is not mentioned in this article at all. Maybe he's exiting the company, and maybe he's just going to continue to to go, uh, because the board there, I don't know if the board for Activision Blizzard will be the same for Microsoft, or that goes away, uh, so Bobby Kotick doesn't have all of his best friends there protecting him, which would be great. Maybe Microsoft is going to babysit this company and fix them, because they need fixing. Because really, right now, it's not a good time for them mm I really personally have not been buying any Activision games. Call of Duty Vanguard looks terrible. Um, really, vote with your wallet. I just don't think it's like the time to be supporting them, but under this new leadership, maybe? Because I don't know. It just seems that they would be well taken care of by Microsoft. And this is crazy, by the way. I thought, like, I would never have seen this coming. Like, this is just totally weird. Phil Spencer bought Bethesda last uh, last year. Not just Phil Spencer, but Xbox bought Bethesda, which is the greatest uh, acquisition in video games, period. And I have not seen numbers for this, but if they just bought Activision Blizzard, this is even crazier. For a company where their titles are sinking to the ground, Call of Duty is in a low spot, World of Warcraft is in a low spot, they are uh, jumping ship, basically, from World of Warcraft. Um, basically, all their titles... It just seems kind of bad at the moment. So maybe they just need a restructure. They need a change of leadership. This should be a good thing. Regardless of what you think about uh, Xbox buying all these studios and making it like a, a, a race to acquire all the studios, I think this is their saving grace. This is what is going to help them get out of their hole. They need this breath of fresh air. Phil Spencer's a great guy. Xbox is a great company for the most part, and what we're seeing here is an evolution of gaming. I'm not one way or another. I have both consoles. I play both. Um, I just think this is probably the best spot they could be in, honestly, because what else are they going to do? And Bobby Kotick being there, if he stays at uh, Activision Blizzard, then I don't think... I just don't think it, it would keep working, but maybe if he is there and Xbox or Phil Spencer is babysitting him or he's like on a closer eye, I don't know how that works. Hopefully he leaves the company because this would be the time to leave. He needs to go. But if maybe the better thing right now is that they are being overseen by Microsoft and get some standards under place and have a little bit more accountability for their actions, maybe that will be better. I don't know how this is going to work out, but basically they're running independently at the moment, but I don't know. I'm hoping this will be better. Um, if you're an Xbox fan, this is great for you because you probably are going to get Call of Duty on Game Pass Day 1. 
that's not confirmed, but I could see a reality where that happens. Um, I don't see where all this setup is going to be in PC space, but if you're on Xbox, it just seems like a no-brainer. You got EA Play, uh, you got all the EA titles, uh, Xbox titles going day one, Activision. This is a no-brainer. Regardless of how you feel about these uh, properties at the moment, this is a killer deal. If I was going to just get into the gaming space, I would just get Game Pass. It's it's a no-brainer. I'm not going to spend 70 bucks on Call of Duty next year. That's nuts. That is crazy. And I don't know. I, that's just my opinion. Uh, like We're seeing more Ubisoft titles like uh, the Ubisoft streaming service. I forget what it's called. But it looks like Rainbow Six Extraction is coming up on Xbox, Game Pass. Uh, lots of other titles. I don't know what is happening, but they are acquiring pretty much everything. And uh, you'd be really crazy not to get Game Pass at this point. Like, every time, it seems like every year, there is a good case to say, why don't you have Game Pass? Because it's just a killer deal. And with Call of Duty and all these other franchises, uh, it's an even better deal. That's crazy. That is crazy. So hopefully these titles get better quality, better leadership, uh, better management, and funding. I don't know what that is behind doors, but this seems to be like a better part for the company. Let me, do, let me know down in the comments what you think about this acquisition and your thoughts. Uh, this is my first video coming out on camera and just talking about something like this. So let me know what you think, and I will be back. Thanks.